My first reading is from Naked Lunch, a section that was first published here in the uh, University of Chicago in 1959. And this led to the publication of the Olympia edition in Paris. The heat closing in. I can feel the heat closing in. Feel them out there making their moves, setting up their devil doll stool pigeons, crooning over my spoon and dropper I throw away at Washington Square Station. Ball to turnstile and two flights down the iron stairs, catching up town A train. Young, good looking, crew cut, Ivy League advertising exec type fruit holds the door back for me. I'm evidently his idea of a character. <laughs> you know that type. Comes on with bartenders and cab drivers talking about right hooks and the Dodgers. Calls a counterman in Needix by his first name. A real asshole. <laughs> and right on time, this narcotics dick in a white trench coat. Imagine tailing somebody in a white trench coat. <laughs> Hit the platform. I can hear the way he would say it, holding my outfit in his left hand, right hand on his piece. I think you dropped something, <coughs> fella. But the subway is moving. So long, Flatfoot, I yell, giving the fruit his B production. I look into the fruit's eyes, take in the white teeth, the Florida tan, the $200 shark skin suit, the button-down Brooks Brothers shirt, and carrying the news as a prop. Only thing I read is little Abner. <laughs> Thanks, kid, I say. I can see you're one of our own. His face lights up like a pinball machine with stupid pink affect. <laughs> Grass told me he did, I said morosely. Uh, Grass is English thief slang for inform. I drew closer and laid my dirty, junky fingers on his shark skin sleeve. And us blood brothers in the same dirty needle. I can tell you in confidence he is due for a hot shot. Uh, this is a cap of poison sold to an addict as junk for liquidation purposes. Often given to informers. You ever see a hot shot hit, kid? I saw the gimp catch one in Philly. We rigged his rub with a one-way whorehouse mirror and charged us Soski to watch it. He never got the needle out of his arm. They don't if the shot is right. That's the way they find them. Dropper full of clotted blood hanging out of a blue arm. The look in his eyes when it hit, kid, it was tasty. <laughs> Recollect when I'm traveling with the vigilante, best shake man in the industry, out in Chi. We is working the fags in Lincoln Park. So one night the vigilante turns up for work in cowboy boots and a black vest with a hunk of tin on it and a lariat slung over his shoulder. So I say, what's with you, you wig already? He just looks at me and says, fill your hands, stranger, and hauls out an old rusty six-shooter, and I take off across Lincoln Park, bullets cutting all around me. And he hangs three fags before the fuzz nail him. I mean, the vigilante earned his moniker. And the fruit is thinking, what a character. Wait till I tell the boys in Clark's about this one. Now, he's a character collector would stand still for Joe Gould's seagull act. So I put it on, on him for a Soski and make a meat to sell him some pot, as he calls it, thinking I'll catnip the jerk. <laughs> well, I said, tapping my arm, duty calls, as one judge said to another, be just, and if you can't be just, be arbitrary. <laughs> <clears throat> I cut into the automat, and there is Bill Gaines, huddled in someone else's overcoat, looking like a 1910 banker with paresis. 
An old Bart, shabby and inconspicuous, dunking pound cake with his dirty fingers shiny over the dirt. I had some uptown customers Bill took care of, and Bart knew a few old relics from hop smoking times. Spectral janitors gray as ashes, phantom porters sweeping out dusty halls with a slow old man's hand, coughing and spitting in the junk sick dawn, retired asthmatic fences in theatrical hotels, pent upon rows, the old madam from Peoria, stoical Chinese waiters never show sickness. Bart sought them out with his old junkie walk, patient, cautious, and slow. Dropped into their bloodless hands a few hours of warmth. I made the round with him once for kicks. You know how old people lose all shame about eating and it makes you puke to watch them? <laughs> old junkies are the same about junk. They gibber and squeal at the sight of it. The spit hangs off their chin, and their stomach rumbles, and all their guts grind in peristalsis while they cook up, dissolving the body's decent skin. You expect any moment a great blob of protoplasm will flop right out and surround the junk. It really disgusts you to see it. Well, my boys will be like that one day, I thought. Isn't life peculiar?